Good evening. It's a death-defying plunge that's left city workers shocked. Base jumpers leaping from a 40-storey skyscraper in the heart of Perth. And tonight, three of the daredevils are on the run from the law. Using business suits as a disguise, they sneaked onto the roof of the building that's home to some of our federal ministers. Here he goes. A 40-storey freefall that lasts just seconds. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, the base jumper triggering his parachute just in time. Oh, there's an oh, 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 that, that was close. One of four daredevils to dive off the edge of Exchange Tower in Perth CBD just before nine o'clock this morning. I think that was a little bit too late. One of the guys, we reckon he um, didn't deploy his chute until he was about 16 floors above surface. Stunned onlookers capturing the men from all angles. As soon as their feet touched the ground, they took off. <laughs> It's reckless and stupid. It could have cost any one of them their lives. The base jumpers were well prepared. Witnesses say they were wearing business suits, which helped them blend in when they entered the building this morning. But this is not the first time they've targeted this particular skyscraper. One of the men telling Nine News this was their 15th jump. Exchange Tower is a 40-storey skyscraper, the sixth tallest in Perth. The 146-metre building on Sherwood Court is the state headquarters of the Australian Securities Exchange and has 32 levels of office space, home to federal politicians, including Attorney General Christian Porter and Defence Minister Linda Reynolds. How they made it to the top, a mystery. Well, they must have used a... Um fire entrance or some sort of stairwell. Try to be inconspicuous as possible. They had their backpacks on. The security breach now under investigation. <laughs> oh. For now, the daredevils are lying low after a high-rise fall. And police have just found one of the base jumpers at a home in North Perth after releasing photos of the car the four men were seen leaving in. The 35-year-old has now been summoned to appear in court for trespass. If he is found guilty of that, he could face up to a $12,000 fine or even a year behind bars. But tonight, police are still searching for the other three men. Michael. Sounds like they're closing in. Liz, thank you.